Afternoon guys, hope you're doing well. Just in the process of making a pipe, uh, thought I'd take a break and I'd do this video here, which I've been planning for a few weeks. Um, as some of you may know, I'm massively into cigars, have been for a good number of years now. Um, and this little, I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can, but knowing me, I'll talk on for a bit probably. Uh, these are what I deem as the essential cigar accessories. Um, we have five accessories here, varying in what they do, but to me, they are accessories that for any cigar smoker, you need. The first thing I'm going to talk about is cutters. So this is your classic straight cut. And this is what you call a V cut. As you can see there, the blade is a V. Um, cutters, you get all variations, of different sizes, different types of cut. Uh, you can also get a punch cut. Uh, I don't have one with me just now, but I do have one. Um, and they come in different sizes and prices. Um, again, prices wise, this is about £35 in the UK. I think this was about four. And funnily enough, this one by Calibri, I actually would not recommend. Um, if you can see here, it kind of, it's hard to cut once you get to the very edge. And what that is, is if you can see, the blades rubbing against the bottom blade here. And it's not like if this is just this one, this is apparently a common fault now with these particular cutters. But there are plenty of fantastic classic street cutters out there. Um, you can also get them in scissor form, uh, you can get desktop, you can get a whole load of street cuts. And they are what some would say is a, is a classic cut for a cigar. Secondly, you have the V cut. Um, typically, a V cut was not always known for torpedo cigars, uh, Pyramides, Bellicoso size, um, which, if you don't know, those are cigars that are tapered to one end, typically towards the head. And the old rule was you would use a V cut to cut the cigar so you would keep as much of the cigar intact, if you can understand what I'm saying. Um, instead of using a straight cut to get a draw, you have to cut quite a chunk off, whereas with a V cut, the feed behind it is you don't. Um, but you can also enjoy a V cut on more normal cigars called a Pareo. Um, which is a straight-sided cigar. Um, typically, I use a V-cut for Pyramides, occasionally for wide-ring wide ring gauge cigars. Um, I don't smoke too many, but if I've got a 54 or 56, I prefer a V-cut. So about that, phone count. So double V-cut, I also love that. Great cut, use it on wider ring gauge Cigars. Next, lighter. This is a 1970s Dunhill Ruler Gas, if I believe correctly. Soft flame in fantastic condition. This, these, these lighters, when I picked them up, like two or three years ago, I bought this. Um, they've almost, I think, almost doubled in price now, so that's a good buy, and they still are, if you can get your hands on it. They don't make stuff like this anymore. There's a reason this is from the 1970s, and it still works perfectly, is because they don't make quality items to this high standard. There's no, there's no plastic in this, it's all metal, aluminium, nice, solid, no moving parts. It's foolproof. I prefer a soft flame for indoors and a torch flame for outdoors. That's kind of my rule of thumb. If it's an exceptionally calm day and there's not a single bit of wind, then you can use a soft flame. But rule of thumb typically is you use a torch outside um, because the flame 
typically a torch lighters are almost windproof um, and that's the main reason they were created. But again, you get a host, a whole host of lighters. One thing I would recommend is you get yourself a, a butane lighter. And the purpose of that is, is butane has no, uh, is an odorless gas. So it doesn't impart any odor or flavor to your cigar. Unlike, for example, simple food that does have an odor to it and that will impact flavor of your cigars. Next, this is a cigar rest. This is one I make myself. I've been, as some of you may know, uh, because I was into cigars for many years before, I still make a host of cigar rests, ashtrays and other accessories. Uh, and this is one of my Briar cigar rests. Um, in a time like now with COVID, if you go out and about for a cigar, a cigar rest is perfect to just slip in your pocket or your cigar pouch. And it means that you don't have to put your cigar on, for example, a Camino ashtray or if you're outside a coffee shop or a cafe, having a cigar, you have to rest on the table, you have your own sanitary cigar rest. Before COVID, they were just also an item that people would use because, of course, you don't want to have to necessarily hold your cigar the whole time. Uh, they might not necessarily be a proper cigar ashtray. If you go to a lot of coffee shops, cafes, mm. typically they will have cigarette ashtrays, which you can't uh, rest a cigar on. So it's perfect to have, if you're outside a coffee shop, you have a cigarette ashtray. You can sit that next to the, the ashtray and cut it your own cigar ashtray with it. So I always carry that out and about. And lastly, probably the most invaluable tool, especially if you smoke Cuban cigars, is this draw tool. Um, I can't remember the exact brand this is. Oh, actually, that's a lie, just came to me. This is called the Perfect Draw. This was invented originally by a dentist. Um, I would rather you use this on my cigars than my teeth though. Can't imagine that. But yeah, so this was originally curated by a dentist. I think the story goes, the dentist was smoking a cigar one day, it was plugged, he was sticking stuff in, progging it, and he thought of a tool that he similarly uses dentistry, and he designed this. So this is where we've got this concept from. And this one is the, called the perfect draw. And the blades, when you pull in, they cut in. But the way that the blades are designed is extremely sharp to where as you pull out, it drags any of the tobacco back out, hopefully being the stems and bunched up tobacco that is causing your cigar not to draw. And the reason I say this is possibly the most invaluable tool is that they're not cheap. I don't know what the price of this as of 2022, but when I bought it, this was about £30. Not, not an inexpensive tool, but truly invaluable because this has saved more cigars than I can count. This cost, like I say, £30 when I bought it. There's many cigars I've smoked over the years which have been which have cost £30 per cigar, where a cigar is plugged and this has saved it. Um, a lot of people say this is the most invaluable tool because it could literally save hundreds of pounds worth of plugged cigars. So that being said, I typically don't, I think this is my first kind of proper cigar video. I don't plan on doing too many because this is a pipe channel, but I do know there's also a lot of crossover in the, YT, in the YTPC. So again, these are my kind of essential cigar accessories. I would recommend any cigar smoker to have. With that being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.